All right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox. And today I'll be going over a quick tip on how you can use Espresso to drive the rotation of these fan blades based upon a wind force object and the wind speed within it. And this should save you some animation time. It's really quick, easy Espresso. And that way you don't have to keep changing the rotation value of your blades as you try to animate the wind speed up, etc. And this will also teach you how to rotate an object infinitely um, using Espresso as well. All right, let's get going. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a fan from the Schoolhouse Objects Pack. So desk fan. As you can see, it's a cute little fan. If I navigate to front vent tube, crack that open, and go down to the blades null, you can see this is already set up for animation. So pretty nice. And then what I'm going to do is go over to simulate forces and grab a wind force. And I'm gonna bring that wind force inside of the blades null and then zero everything out just so it is exactly in the same position as the blades. So there we go. If I hit play here, you can see the force is going. And then I wanna have particles set up so we can see what's going on with this force. So if I go to simulate again and go to particles, grab an emitter. I won't be going over uh, emitters and what to do with them for rendering, etc. but this will just help us see the force. So I rotate it 90 degrees up so we can see what's going on. And now this is a weird thing about the wind force object. So as you can see, it's rotating to the right, which is normally how fans rotate, but the particles are being sucked into it. So I want this to act like a fan. I'm not trying to um, have it as an intake fan. Let's just pause it so we can see what's going on. And so I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. If I hold shift, it snaps. So there we go. Now, I mean, this is going the wrong way of an actual fan, but it's blowing the particles the right way, which is what we want. All right, from there, we're going to go to our blades null again and right click, go down to programming tags and add an espresso object. So you get this little panel. And the first thing you wanna do is just drag that blades null into this view. So I'm not an espresso master by any means, but I'll try and explain um, what these objects are as I go. So we want to uh, grab the rotation of these blades. So if I go over to blades and I mess with these rotations, you can see our H rotation is what is driving this to the right. So I want to get that property. So if you click on this little blue square up here, go to coordinates, rotation, we can grab that rotation H value. And we want to animate the blade's rotation over time, over our timeline. So we'll grab a new Espresso node, go to general and grab time. So that'll just allow us to harness a time value. And now to connect these two, we need to do some math where we take an input value, which will be our wind speed, and then multiply that by time on the timeline and input it into here. So to do that, we want to grab an Espresso calculate math node. And right now it's set to add, but if you just click on these nodes, you can kind of see over here, uh, this is where you actually change the values of them on the right. So if I click on blades, math add, time, you'll see this uh, panel over here actually changing. So if I go to math, I want this to be, instead of the function of add, I want it to be multiply. So now it's multiply. And then I want to bring in my wind speed object. Let's throw it down here. Pop that open a little bit so we can see what's going on. And then on the right uh, output side, I wanna click on that and go down to the object properties so I can grab the wind speed, which is you know what is actually on this object that we would normally just turn up and down. So if I take that and I put this wind speed into input on the math node. And then I take time and put it in the input of the math node. And then I take the output of this math node and I plug it into rotation H. We should have our setup. So if I hit play, you can now see the wind force is moving, but also our fan blades are moving. So if I go over to my wind speed now, turn it down to two this also turns down. 
You'll notice a slight variance. Um, this isn't perfectly tied to this, um, but it does a pretty good job, especially when you start getting to higher speeds, you can't really tell. Um, and again, it's just to save you time on the actual animation portion of it. And what's also great about this tip, as I said, if we go back to our Expresso node, this is how you would rotate something forever. So let's say you don't have this wind object in here. So if I don't have this wind object and I hit play, you know, the fan blades are doing nothing. If I turn those, let's just turn those off for now. But let's just say I want these blades to rotate forever. So to do that, all I do is I need another number instead of wind. So I would go to new node, expresso, general, and I would pull in a constant. And put that into input. And if I turn this value up, let's hit a six and hit play, it's rotating. So this is pretty easy to set up, like I said, but I just really like that you can tie this directly to the wind speed and basically not have to do a lot of uh, extra work. So yeah, I hope this quick tip helped you. Uh, hopefully it saves you some time in your workflow. If you'd like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would help us out a ton. We're gonna keep putting out more tutorials. And again, as always, if you're interested in any 3D models or 3D packs, like this schoolhouse pack, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. All right, until next time.